hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel so i wanted to give an update of the greenhouse i know we said we are going to put the amiran tomatoes again all of it so that to reduce infection because when you into a crop um it's very hard to control pests and you have to spray the whole greenhouse well only the tomatoes are sensitive to the disease and stuff like that so we have decided to do tomatoes for the whole greenhouse. You see how huge it is? It has 11 beds, which is about 22 drip lines, which is a huge, huge greenhouse. This is not a customized greenhouse, so it's just me who just counted <laughs> feet with my legs. And now I'm realizing that it was a bit big, so we are going to do capsicum and tomatoes. But um one of the consultants that i'm using i think you guys have seen his video on vegetables caleb told me that if i can just intercrop with um kunde i think they're called there are certain type of beans i know them in kiswahili they're called kunde which helps add back nitrogen into the system and also tests the, the greenhouse to see if it's functional so we are just testing if all the drip holes are working because when you're working with such a small plant you are able to know whether the drip lines are blocked or not so the other thing why we did this is so that we can add nitrogen back to the soil so we planted all over you can see they're shooting because of the greenhouse these beans shoot in like these are two days old so in about three weeks we'll be harvesting them then we sell them at least we get back the cost of um not much maybe about two thousand for the beans that are here and then we shall plant our tomatoes don't know if you guys can see yes so this because of the heat of the greenhouse they come out quite fast they're called kunde we just uproot them as they are and just bunch them and sell them so I've noticed because of the salty water that we use, we use borehole water, the plants are not as refreshed. They don't look as jazzed as they do when it rains. So we've been supplementing by using a hose pipe like thing with the jet at the end just to... When you spray out that water, I think it, it reduces the... I don't have the scientific explanation, but you guys get my drift. When it's just dripping from the drip line like this, you see this is salt and ends up blocking the drip holes. But if you spray it with a hose pipe, I think some of the elements are just left in the air or something, or just spread around and not just to that to that one specific plant. So yeah, so we are using a hose pipe to spray and we are just testing so obviously this greenhouse is not evenly distributed that is why some are slower you see like this one they are lagging behind to shoot literally taking too long compared to this drip line which it means that this drip line is getting less water than this one yeah so those are the things that we are testing pre-testing before our tomato uh, planting and so we are targeting the January market which is usually a time where there is no tomatoes in the market so if we plant from October mm -hmm, no maybe mid October because this will take about three weeks they will rush very fast because of the heat inside the greenhouse and we are adding nothing else as you can see the soil is well manured we have used our compost and just added on a lot of manure we don't want to say that the plants don't have food the plants will have enough food and since we don't use chemical fertilizers we are really emphasizing on just having enough of that so that the plant has enough so um so this plant adds nitrogen to the soil which is a good thing uh and just troubleshooting checking where will go wrong because those amiran seeds are expensive you find back for a thousand going for about six thousand so we need to be sure that whatever we are planting will succeed a hundred percent and that's why um we took a pause planted these beans just to go through all that and just test it so yeah i'm thinking of putting a dam 
where the water that is coming from the borehole can first be chilling in the dam. I've seen that concept being used by some of the big professional farmers. Um, the water, they pull the water together to just test whether it can be, to just reduce the soil in the water then it becomes a little bit more fresh compared to just get uh, the water coming from underground and then straight into you know it's getting no exposure to the outside world where i think there is a chemical reaction i <laughs> have they i will research on this there's a chemical reaction and then the water that is reaching your farm has less soil and so you just see the vibrancy in your plants yeah, so that's the update for the greenhouse. Um, we are excited. Um, three weeks and then we go buy those seeds with you guys. I'm going to take a tour to Amiran, how to go to Amiran. And then just plant with you guys as well. So I just wanted to update you on what is going on and some of the tricks we are using just to um, make sure that we have an optimal crop. Yeah. Bye guys, have a great day, please subscribe.